Hi everyone, it's Patricia. Today I want to share two projects that I created for Iron Roses. The first project that I'm going to share is a cotton candy mini album that I created from scratch. First I drew the image that I wanted on a lightweight chipboard and then I just traced it five other times on a medium weight chipboard. And the paper line that I used for this uh, mini album is from Madison Avenue and uh, from also Market Street by My Mind's Eye. And um, as you guys can see, it's pretty bulky. The mini album is packed with flowers and luscious embellishments. I had a lot of fun creating this mini album. And for the closure of the mini album, I used some tinsel from uh, Webster Pages in the pink tone. And then I just added more uh, trims and fibers to the closure just to make it more cute. And then for the front cover, I used Make a Memories trim in the pink light tone just to give me that cotton candy look of fluffiness to the front cover. And over here I used this stamp from uh, Hair Art slash Basic Gray and it's this stamp right here, it's super cute, this cotton candy. And the name of the stamp set is Life of the Party Birthday, it's super cute. So I used the cotton candy stamp and I stamped it two times the um, image so I can paper piece them together just to give me that two tone look. And then I added some outfits from the Girls Papery and I made a little flag with a wood skewer behind. And this is the little um, piece that I cut out from my roses spray. Here's a beautiful cherry blossom from my roses, and this is from a combo pack. And uh, the combo item number is S3 A39. Super cute. It comes with a variety of green tones in here. And then also, I used uh, this beautiful, gorgeous uh, R40 from my roses as well. I used a couple of Estan flowers in the white tone. And the behind the Estan flowers, I used some petals from my roses as well. And the item number to those are P70-1. And all I did to these is spray them with some uh, Lindy Stamping and also some Glimmer Mist. And the colors that I used to spray those petals are um, Apple from uh, Glimmer Mist. Super cute. And then I also used the Gator Gumbo Olive from Lindy Stamping and the Starburst Saints. And then just to line up the two colors together, I used um, some chalkboard in the chalk color. And I think it went so well together, these three tones. Super cute. So I used them throughout the mini album as well. And then I used some leaves also for my roses. And here's a chunk that I cut off from uh, spray also. And that's basically it for the front cover. Super cute. And then for the following page, I also um, added a big gardenia for my roses from a combo pack. And then I added a, another cherry blossom from the same um, combo pack that I showed you guys before. I added a flyback pro in the pink tone. And then over here is um, some alphas from the Girls Papery that spells out family. Here's another leaf from my roses. And then in the background is the doily from Spellbinders. And then here's a mat that I'm going to put picture and I'll do some journaling. And I'll probably add more journaling mats also to this mini album as I go, adding pictures. So the next page is um, a die cut also that I use from uh, Spellbinders Nest Abilities. And it's the number 5 die. It's the Lacy Circles. Super cute. So I made sure that I uh, cut out um, around the door that's on here from the paper line from my mind's eye. I added the dolly for my stash, a beautiful rose for my own roses, a make and memories rose trim right here that I cut out a single one, a leaf for my own roses, and this is a netting from uh, website pages that I turned into a bow. I added a button for my stash in the pink tone and uh, also from uh, website pages I added a uh, resin flower here. And I really like how this page turned out too, it's really cute, the color combo. And on the following page, um, I had a tons of flowers for my roses as well. And this is a puffy daisy for my roses that I just tucked it behind um, the cherry blossom in the pink tone. And here are some petals for my roses as well. And the item number to these are P10-1. And uh, Savannah chose the colors for the petals. And she used uh, Gumdrop to spray. And also she used the cherry pink. And then on top she used the chalk from... Um, Tether Angels, the chalkboard. So I think it came out really cute, the um, three combo color that she chose. Really adorable. And then to the center is the same petals I showed you guys before, the smaller ones. And then I used some crochet, the flower from my stash, and another beautiful green tone cherry blossom also. And then I added some more leaves for my roses. And over here, it will be some pictures and journaling. And then in the back, I added a sticker from the Girls Papery collection that I could do some more journaling back there. And on the following page, I used some more puffy daisies that I just sprayed it with the apple tone. And then on top of it, I went over with uh, the chalkboard from uh, 
the chalk color from Tyler Angels. Then to center I used this uh, resin flower in the green tone. And then over here I add the uh, leaf for my roses. And then this is another uh, lacy circle from Spellbinder. And then I uh, stamped I Love This. And this is from the stamp uh, by Smash from King Company. And I have a blast using this in so many projects guys. This is so much fun to use. And then over here in the bottom, I used the Make Your Memories trim, uh, a single rose. And then I used the Cherry Blossoming in the pink tone. And then I added the button in the pink flower back pearl on top of it. And here I add some more pictures and journaling, and I'll probably cut out more mats and put them here too. And that's what's good for this page. And then on the following page, I also used the Big Gardenia for my roses. Then over here, I used this Estin flower that I used the same small petal leaves behind for my roses. Another Mickey Memories trim, a dual leaf behind. And this is also um, Cherry Blossom in the pink tone. And over here, I added a button underneath the Cherry Blossom. Another leaf for my roses. I spelled out Smile using the Girls Papery Alphas that I just turned into a little banner. And then over here on top, I used another green cherry blossom from the green combo that I showed you guys before. And then over here, I used another petal for my roses. And the item number two, the petals that I used are P25-151. And these are super cute too, guys. So I just used the Gator Gumbo from Lindy Stamp King on these petals right here. And then just to soften it up a little, if you guys could see, I sprayed some of the chalk from Tether Angels on top of it just to give me some of that white tone to come through the petal. And uh, over here will be some more journaling pictures and I'll add more mats as I add the pictures. And I forgot to tell you guys where the inspiration came from. Uh, we have a cotton cane machine that we purchased about 2-3 years ago from HSN and this cotton machine is super cool. I love the fact that I could purchase any kind of hard candy and just place it in the center and basically just shred it completely the candy and uh, the cotton candy definitely tastes like any type of candy I put in there and I don't have to use the cartons that come with the powdered sugar for the cotton candy machines so it's really fun and simple to use with the children so next time when my daughter and uh, her friends use it um, I could take tons of pictures and I can display them in uh, Savannah's bedroom so she can have tons of memories with her friends making cotton candy so I just wanted to share that with you guys and on the following page, I also used the tons of flowers for my roses. Here's another puffy daisy. Here's a Estin flower that added a pearl to the center. Here's a sticker from the Girls Peppery that spells every day. Another crochet flower, flyback pearl. And over here's another cherry blossom. I love using cherry blossoms on all of my projects. I'm addicted to them. And then over here, I used all those uh, three uh, types of petals that I showed you guys before to make this flower. Uh, Savannah decided to use the gumdrop uh, spray from uh, Tether Angels to spray this one right here. And then I used the uh, apple tone from Tether Angels to the middle. And then for the center, I used again the gumdrop to spray. So I think it came out super cute and I brought out the paper right here in the background. And uh, then I added a crochet flower from Iron Rose as well. And these are super cute and fun to use in so many projects. And this mat does not remove, it's actually glued down. And this is another page, super cute too. And on the following page, I made this one very simple too. Over here, I used the Spellbinder Shape Abilities um, number 6 die. And it's the floral doily motifs. Really cute. I love all these shapes in here. Really adorable. And uh, I just distressed the edges with the vintage photo from Tim Holtz. Here's another paper that I just fussy cut out from the paper line from My Mind's Eye. And then over here on top, I just... Um, made my own freehand cut banner and I just used some of the Girls Paper Rees alphas on here so it just spells out so pretty and here's the banner that I made using the netting from Webster Pages so then on the bottom I used this Make Your Memories trim, another cherry blossom and another S10 flower with the flocking in the center I used some buttons and also some leaves from Carla's Etsy store really adorable Super cute too, I love this page. And then on the following page, I also used the netting from Warpster Pages that I turned into a bow. A dolly from my stash. This is another puffy daisy that I tucked uh, underneath the cherry blossom over here. And then this is another dolly from um, the Lacy Circles. And then I added a button over here underneath the dolly. And this is also um, a sticker from the Girls Papery and it spells out Dream. And then I just added another leaf for my roses. 
And over here I'll add some more pictures and more drawing. So it's super cute and this is the last page. And on the back is plain. I still need to write my signature on the date that I finished the main album. So this is one of my projects that I created for Iron Roses. And for my second project for Iron Roses, I created a 3D uh, look-alike cotton candy. And it's super cute. I had a lot of fun creating this. Savannah wanted me to actually make a cotton candy look-alike. So first I started with uh, craft paper. And I turned it into a cone shape. And I was going to leave it like that. just natural, the cone, if you guys could see it. Really cute. I had to stress it originally with vintage photo. And uh, when I showed it to Savannah when I was finished, she said it was too plain on the bottom. So she wanted to make it more cute and girly for her bedroom. So she chose the fibers that she wanted me to add to the bottom of the so there's green uh, satin trim, and there's also pink seam binding, and then also some tinsel from Webster Pages, and then also some polka dot ribbon. So I made it really fun looking for Savannah. If you guys could see, it's really cute. And all I did to do it, guys, I just stuffed the center of the cone with some tissue uh, packaging paper. And then I grabbed the Make Your Memories Light Pink trim just to crisscross all the way around the tissue paper just to make it really puffy and fluffy looking like a cotton candy looks like. And then I grabbed the cello bag and I cut the bottom of the cello bag. I placed it over the cone and then I closed it on top with some seam binding in the pink bubble gum tone. And then I used three beautiful flowers for my roses. This is a beautiful green rose a beautiful pink uh, cherry blossom and this is the white S10 flower and then over here I add the same image that I used uh, on the front of the mini album and it's this cotton candy from uh, the Here Arts The Life of the Party Birthday really cute so I did the same thing I stamped it two times and I paper pieced the uh, two pieces together and these alphas are from the girls papery that spells out yum and that's basically it guys for my uh, cotton candy 3D uh, look-alike. I had a lot of fun creating this cotton candy and also the mini album to go with it as a set for my daughter to display in her bedroom. And please do stop on by Iron Roses site and show Wilma some love. And as always guys, happy scrapping. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!